Thank you, Jenny Minto, to be followed by Ariane Burgess. Thank you, Presiding Officer. As the Cabinet Secretary has said, there is a need to balance environmental, economic and social interests in terms of fishing. How will this policy seek to do this and, in particular, reassure coastal communities that fishing is valued and has a viable future in spite of all the impacts of Brexit? Cabinet Secretary. I would first of all just really want to, to offer that uh, assurance because uh, as our fisheries management strategy outlines, fisheries management can be very complex and our decision making will always need to take account of a variety of, of different factors. And as we're taking forward the individual policies and actions within the strategy, we're seeking to use co-management to inform their development and as part of our decision making, we'll be taking account of the, the various eco, uh, economic, uh, social and environmental factors. And I think what it's important to remember here is that there is no one size fits all approach because these factors depend on what we're trying to achieve and the specific policy that we're looking to deliver to. Now, we know that the impacts of Brexit are being felt right across Scotland and that the fishing industry has been hit particularly hard in relation to, uh, in, in relation to trade. And uh, the Scottish Government is supporting the seafood sector through the Marine Fund Scotland. And I just want to make clear that within that, in the Marine Fund, Around £13 million has been awarded to date across a range of different projects, which include supporting our young fishers to enter the sea fisheries industry, vessel refurbishment, as well as uh, helping them to, to purchase new and more sustainable fishing gear. And that's in addition to the £40 million under the European Maritime and Fisheries Fund that we provided to support an innovative and competitive sector, which also helped to build that vital capacity too.